the next topic is sets this is next type of collection by the way we can create a list of s objects we can create a list of primitive data types as well s objects as well primitive data types as well. Uh, primitive data types as well what is going to like what, what is the use of creating list of s objects yeah. exactly so if you want to store multiple records into a single reference variable how you can do that list of s objects right that's what it is so let's talk about sets in set uh it's okay so it it, it basically looks like this and there are two properties of sets which are important to understand number one does not store the values in a sequential order second values are unique so whenever you want to store unique values uh, inside uh, together then in that case you're going to use set collection right let's talk about it you want to store uh, like roll, uh, let's say roll numbers of people what is the use of storing a roll number two times there's no use right so in that case what you're going to do or let's say you want to store uh, names of people you don't want to store the name twice right uh, in that case you can use set as well currently we're going to use it uh, for storing the roll number or anything that you want to store so uh, if i want to store 11 11 will get stored anywhere just like this if i want to store 50 it will get stored over here If I want to store a uh, thirty-eight, it will get stored over here. There's no problem. Like the data gets stored in a non-sequential order, so that means uh, you'll not be able to realize which, uh, or you'll not be able to find out which element got stored first or got, uh, yeah, got stored first, or which element got stored later. Because sequence does not matter to us. Order does not matter to us. What matters to us is unique data. That's the only uh, reason when we use sets, right? now if i try to store 38 again it will not get stored i mean in list if if i would have tried to store 38 again it would have stored 38 again but in sets it will not store the same value again because it is already in existence in that particular set in that particular collection in that particular set is it clear so these are the main two properties of sets 